All right, let's go ahead and hop right in it. This is our car of the day. That, 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 that thing up there. It is a 2003 Nissan 350Z. Um, this one, I believe we got at the cheap auction. All the cars that we're doing in this three-star series are either cars that we got at the cheap auction, uh, a barn, which typically the cars you find in a barn are more complete than this, uh, or we found it at the junkyard. And honestly, I don't recall where I bought this one from. But let's go ahead and hop into a dad joke, because I'm promising you these streams are going to start with a dad joke every time. <laughs> so let's get going. Uh, what do you get when you spill your coffee in the dirt? Coffee grounds. <laughs> telling you, man, this dad joke book is awesome. All right. So just to recap, we're doing three-star series. So all performance parts on whatever engine. We're going to try to do a quarter mile, uh, get our quarter mile speed. We'll eventually top speed these and take them to the king. Um, try to get a king of the sands win. Uh, we're at the 2003 Nissan Z, which will be our 83rd car that we'll have complete. Um, it's got 131,000 miles on it. And as far as cars completed right now, we're up to 11 million four hundred. $35,572 worth of car value. Uh, so we're doing okay. We're doing all right. Move the spreadsheet over here. And we'll pop into the car. Now, typically, and I've done this on stream more than a few times. Um, so let's go ahead and mount that back up. Let's, let's wash this up first. And then we'll start rolling through stuff. So let's detail the interior first that done then we'll wash the exterior we'll get the interior done pull the panels off and then we'll move it into the shop and start working on it and like always the stream is going to be brought to you by uh where is it at pepsi max yes that's for lucas he's not even here all right, let's peel these things off. That might be about it for the body. And the easy way to ch check, just go to your car status. If your body's at 1% when you've peeled everything off, you got all the parts off. All right, and let's go into the interior. Interior disassemble. And I think we only have a wheel. Interior assemble, so we got two bucket seats and a steering wheel to get. We'll pull up our tablet, go to interior setup, and we'll grab a couple of bucket seats and a steering wheel. And we'll just go ahead and install our new clean interior. The interior part will be done. The steering wheel we could sell for profit. The window, sell. Tail light you can't repair. Windshield you can't repair. These two are going to be repairable parts. All right, so let's move this over to car lifter A. And let's start it up on the lift. Grab the welder and weld up the frame. While that's welding, I'll go repair our few body parts that we have that are actually repairable. Okay, we had a fender and a hood. And we'll check our warehouse because I'll probably have some. So it's a Z530, Z in, in game name. So I go into my inventory, Z530, search. And I do have a pile of stuff, so not sure which ones we'll need. So we're just going to grab them all quickly. Save. And then to finish up the body, move that back. 
I'm going to go to my store, to the body shop, and I'm going to buy the parts that I know I won't have in inventory because they're not repairable, which are going to be windows, headlights, tail lights. There. Now we should have all the body panels that we need to go ahead and assemble. Yeah, we'll go ahead and assemble up the body. And again, the color here, irrelevant at this point, because we'll paint this up. That game was so cool. What game is that, son? The Climb. The Climb? Yeah. How'd you do? Did you fall? Um, I don't think I fell once. That's good. That's real good. Even if it was real life, I would have been pushed for one of those things, so I would have not died either. <laughs> not died, I just would have uh, been you know, maimed. Oh, so I think the canyon level, right? <laughs> sure. So it's like a big canyon. Body is done. It's, it's a side, and every single one of the levels, mm -hmm. there's always a crazy view, and it's always really cool. Nice. Uh huh. Sure. Um, I see a snake out there, and I'm like, "Oh, what would happen if I put my hand on my hand there?" And it actually bites you. The snake bites your hand? Yeah, and then and then you fall off uh, your leg. But I had a checkpoint under that, so I didn't uh, fall. Uh, and even if you put your head head near it, um, it also bites you. Holy cow! What kind of snake is that? See, a snake that bites you? That is a neat detail. And if you get bit by the snake while you're playing VR mountain climbing, you get knocked off. Yeah. Helpful tip for me and the Twitchers. You get bit by a snake while you're playing VR mountain climbing, your dude will fall. FYI. We're, yeah, seriously. What what mountain was that you were climbing? I don't know, a canyon. Canyon somewhere? Does that hurt your eye? Your eye looks a little red, bud. No. Good. So what we're doing here, Parker, is we're tearing down this, what is it, a 2003... Nissan Z, and it's actually fairly complete, so I'm going to have some parts here that I'll be able to repair, some that I won't. Got the body done, the interior done. Now we're just going to tear down this car piece by piece, repair what we can repair, and then update the parts as we need. And of course, if we can get performance parts like the exhaust and engine components. We're getting a mass performance and we're making them a three star before we take it to the drag strip. Fuel system down. At least you don't have to drain the fuel tank. That's nice. All right. So a little bit more of a complicated rear suspension system than just the leaf spring setup that we had in our last car. Just more things to tear down. Not a big deal. Exhaust system out here. Alright, let's get to this side. 
Good thing we got some WD-40. Which, trivia fact, how did they come up with the name WD-40? WD stands for Water Displacement, and 40 because it was a fourth trial of coming up with the formula that ended up being W40 or WD40. Kind of interesting. Hey, how, how many people use things and never know where the name came from? Sway bar and control arms off. Don't forget the small rubber bushing. There we go. Get this drive shaft down. Drive shaft's kind of somewhat irksome just because you can't really get close to the screws to see it well at least i don't think you can but you do it a few hundred times and you get used to the fact that it's just a cross pattern of screws and you know where to put your mouse where's the starter on this guy there she is get the trans down Missing a bolt. There it is. All right. That's enough for that. Get the front exhaust out. Then we'll pull the engine. We'll probably have to drain some more of the fluids. This one obviously had a little bit of oil still in it. So there'll probably be some coolant and brake fluid. Which is interesting that it'll have brake fluid still in the master cylinder. I already took the rear brakes off and I didn't spill any brake fluid. But if you pull the master cylinder uh, out of the off the firewall and you didn't drain any brake fluid that's sitting in the master cylinder, uh, your game will charge you a fine for spilling brake fluid in your own shop. Same for coolant or if you drop the engine without draining the oil or take the oil pan off without draining the oil. Same problem. You spill oil in your own shop and they charge you a cleanup fee. Which, I guess, is a penalty in the game, but seriously. How much does a bag of hydri and a brush cost? Not that much. Get these rubber bushings off the uh, front. There we go. I don't mind these wheels. I'm going to paint these wheels this time. I haven't done that for a while. Fairly quick at the teardowns here. All right, that is it for the suspension system. So we'll go ahead and drop this car down out of the air and let's address the engine bay. All right, so Go to your additional tools and to our drain tool. There it is. Drain the power steering fluid. And I was right, there is a little bit of coolant. Drain the coolant. And we'll drain the brake fluid. All right, so that should be, uh, is there any, there's still some windshield washer fluid. Drain that too. All right, so all our fluids are drained. And we should be able to just start rolling through, removing parts here. Be 
these clips off the air filter and get the air filter out. All right. ECU. Get all the fuses relays out. And I did, I drained the brake fluid, right? Yeah, I did, it's empty. Pull the master cylinder, grab the battery, our steering, and it's got ABS, so let's get the ABS module off. Which these are actually repairable, which is good, because they're expensive as heck. And yes, we're sitting on $1.3 million of money, but still. No reason to not be frugal. All right, the rest is just engine, which we can go grab our cherry picker, and we can pull the engine, and we'll tear down the engine on the uh, engine stand. Pull it out. Now, we look at our car status. Everything is fixed in the body, the frame, and the interior, except for all the parts, because we have pulled everything out. So if you're at 1%, you have all the extra parts out. So now we have some breakdown to do. We'll separate out these wheels. Which hopefully the wheels are repairable. I don't mind these rims. While that's separating, there'll be a couple of springs we can separate. One battery that we can throw on the charger. Get that boiling. All right. Did the wheels save? Let's see. 27%, 19%, 26%, 36%. So we'll be able to save the, the rims. Tires will sell. Okay. Let's go over and mount the engine up here. V6 dual overhead cam NSN, which is Nissan, I assume. I don't think there's a swap option on this car. Let's double check. Swap options, none. So this is the engine, which actually base-wise is not bad. 314 horsepower, 285 pound-feet of torque. But we'll be able to improve on that when we start um, getting into the... Uh... Oh, I left a brake leaving. All right, so let's start tearing into this. And we'll just start at the top and we'll work our way down and we'll get all these components off. And I heard the lathe finish. Now, we're going to put performance brakes on this because it's got disc brakes all the way around. But I'm going to go ahead and lathe those rotors because I can do customer jobs, which is a good source of cases. Um, and a brake job's quick. So you pop off, you know, a few brakes, throw on a few um, pads or what have you, or replace some rotors, and boom, you have a chance at a case, which is a gr the best source of scrap in the game, which is what you end up using as a resource to improve the parts to make them three-star parts so you need a you need a crap ton of scrap especially for the project that we're doing all right intake is off go ahead and get these out pull the sparkulators Same on this side. Good. 
done. All right. Go check on that brake lathe. Two more brakes to lathe. Let's get the clutch off the back here. Kind of slowly working my way from the outside into this engine. Uh, I gotta pull the belts. Pull the tensioner first. Generally, that's gonna be a good place to start. And you can start to pull off the peripherals and the pulleys. liberal amount of WD-40 is going to be used on this, clearly, since he has been sitting out in the water, it appears. He has rusted something fierce. Alright, let's go check that brake blade again. These valve covers off. Here the brake lathe finishing. I think that was our last brake. Okay, we can't pull that yet. There is some parts on this engine that are just a little bit confusing as far as which things go where, but that's okay. We'll get to it. On the lower difficulties, it'll if you highlight on a part, it it'll glow red when you're able to remove it. On uh, expert mode, which is what we're playing on, it does not give you that visual cue. It just beeps nonsensically at you until you figure it out, which I am perfectly fine with. And we'll just lay breadcrumbs in our mind as far as how this engine went together and be able to reverse the process. I'm betting that oil pan's got to come off first, but let's go check the brake lathe. Brake lathe. There we go. And I'm just for kicks, I want to make sure I didn't miss any. Yep, I did. Didn't. oil pan down. That's why I rotated the engine. All right. Might as well, we're under here, get the crank bearings pulled, and we'll pull the uh, rod caps off the pistons. That was a great addition. Um, when the game first released, when you had your engine on the engine stand and you were in the engine like I am right now where you're actually able to mount and dismount parts, you could not rotate the engine, which was so irksome. You had to escape out of this, rotate the engine, then get back in to change the parts. It was a small, subtle thing, but it was a good update. I appreciated that. All right, so that's it for clutch our crank bearings and the rod caps because it's V6. And I get this valve cover off. Or, um, Missing a bolt somewhere. 
Where's the bolt I am missing? Got it. All right. Let me get these shoes off, and we should be able to pull the timing chain. Nope, not yet. Okay. Where? Oh, there's another shoe. Okay, that shoe is off. Can I pull the chain now? Yep. And I should be able to start pulling these off. Yes. Good. Can I pull this pulley yet? No. Okay. Hmm. Oh, you pulled the chain first. Well, that's interesting. Okay. There's another cover here, apparently. the other bolt. Ah, right there. Got it. Okay, that's off. Then this, does this come off as a piece? And we can pull those off. All right. Now we should be able to get the head off, right? Simple. Just look around, find the bolts. All right. The head's off on that side. So repeat the process. So we have to pull this off first. Then we can pull rocker arms and the head. Got it. Then we should be able to grab the pistons real quick. There we go. Actually, I can do that from above, too. And we can pull the crank and the block. Done. Engine broken down. All right. So now let's head over to our repair table, and we'll start repairing on... All of our parts. Oh my gosh, it failed on one. That's just, that's just pathetic, Pearson. I do like the mini game, but after you've done it a few times, it kind of gets old. But it's so fun. It does give you some chance to not break parts, at least, as long as you're able to stop the thing on green. Hey, I didn't break this drive axle. That's good. In 2018, the version of this car mechanic prior to this version, um, when you went to repair parts, you went to repair bench, and based on the quality of the part, meaning, like, was it at... 20%, 79%, what have you. And the skill that your mechanic was leveled to, you would get a percent chance for that part to be repaired versus break. So you would literally just go there, click a button, and it would run the odds and give you, did you successfully repair the part or did it break? It went fairly quick, so that was a nice thing. Whereas this, you know, get through nine pages of repair parts playing the minigame, it does take some time. But at least I can do this one-handed and, you know, talk to the the Twitch folks and uh, 
you know, suck down on a Pepsi Max, so I'm fine with that. Perfectly fine. I'm glad we get that cross member repaired. Though that's an expensive part. Like some of these parts, you know, getting them repaired, if they break, it's probably not a big deal. Like that, um, it was a axle, right? That uh, rear axle that we broke. Who cares? I mean, that's not an expensive part. Like if I broke this clip, I'm sorry, the clips are a couple of bucks. You re you break on something like the fuse panel box here. Don't care. The ABS module that's coming up, we break that, and I don't properly repair it. That's a problem, because that's it's five six hundred bucks. The repair is probably going to cost us a quarter of that, if not less. See. Right now, the repair is what, 60 credits or so 60 bucks? This part new, is, I think, is five or 600 bucks. Yeah, and we repaired that for 60 bucks. This one's costing us, well, two repairs, three repairs, but it's still cheaper than buying it new. So, it is a value to do it this way. Now, some of these parts uh, we're not going to use in this build because, like, the fuel, the intake here that I'm just repairing, uh, this exhaust manifold, which I'm surprised you can repair the exhaust manifold. I mean, okay. Uh, in either case, or the clutch plate here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and repair it. Same for the alternator. But those are going to get replaced with performance parts so I'm just repairing those to have those in my warehouse of parts so as I do customer jobs just to get crates or what have you I can um, have a stockpile of parts that I can pull from and not have to buy them Oh, and the engine block. Let's cross our fingers we don't break on the engine block. Because the engine block is another expensive part. Camshaft. We're going to put a performance cam in this thing. Same for the engine head. We're going to put performance heads on this. But again, we'll repair all the parts that we can repair. Man, 300 bucks. Like 600 bucks to repair that block, but we need the block. All right, so let's go ahead and see. Here we'll sort by condition. Condition, crappy at the top, okay. And what we're going to look for is there parts that I can sell for a reasonable amount of money. ECU, we're going to sell that. Things that are low value items. I'm not going to sell for cash. We're going to just scrap it for parts for scrap material. Uh, the clutch plate, no, that's only 13 bucks. I don't think there's any parts here that are wicked expensive. Muffler is going to be expensive ish. All right, that's. Thanks, commensive ish. All right, the rest of these, let's go ahead and take it to the scrap yard and turn it into scrap real quick. And for this, we're going to use the program so I can just salvage them quickly. There we go. So I want to let this program macro run for a second, and we'll be right back.
All right. 14 pages of scrappable parts. Solid. Now, I could try to do this manually and try to stop it on the blue, and I'd probably get a lot more big bonuses. But a big bonus versus the yellow, it's three scrap parts versus one scrap part. Now, and I've said this before in other streams about this game. You get a crate. You get a crate reward either from doing a customer job or you find the crate reward at a barn. The crate has a chance of giving you like up to 3,000 scrap, and it's based on your mechanics level. And I think our mechanics level now is like 200 or something. You get so much scrap from a crate. This is just... It's insignificant. Now, it's still better than nothing. I'll, I'll, I'll probably get uh, eight pages, ten pages of parts. There's, what, six, seven parts per page. We'll probably end up with a couple hundred piles of blue scrap material. It's useful. It's not insignificant. But that isn't going to be where you get the majority of your scrap. You're going to get it from crates. But we might as well do this thing and get what we can get out of it. Perfectly reasonable. Five pages left. That was a blue one. There's a yellow one. Yellow. Green. Yay. Yellow. And this is just a macro on a Logitech keyboard. So you just set it to smash the uh, space bar like every three seconds or a couple seconds or I forget what I set the interval at. Then when you're done, you turn the macro off and you're done. A lot of times I'll, you know, set this, run to the restroom, go grab a snack, do something else. And then come back in and see how much we got. There we go. Macro's done. I save that so I don't lose it. Then we can go ahead and start building this motor. All right. Hey, I have a three-star block. So I have some blocks. These are blocks that I probably pulled out of other cars or I had from a, uh, a run at the junkyard or whatever. But I'm going to use a three-star block. Why not? And a crank. Pistons. I should have pistons. One, two, three. Huh. I have exactly six performance pistons left. That's hilarious. Uh, let's go three star those real quick because those are not three starred. So I obviously I have 593 pages of parts here. So to scroll through, I wish they had a search feature for this or a filter or something. That would be a great thing for a future uh, update or a, uh, a new version of this game, what have you. Uh, would be able to, if you have this way to improve parts, give me a search engine or a, a table so I can sort it. So I can find the parts that I want. All right. Those are three starred. So we'll start popping these on. And the rings. Get on the rod caps. And the crank bearings. Rod cap, rod cap, there we go, and then, that's right, I can't put the oil pan on, there's something else you have to do to get the oil pan on. I think you have to end up putting on the front before you get to the oil pan, which is kind of interesting. All right, three-star flywheel and a three-star clutch plate and clutch pressure plate and a clutch release bearing. 
Now this, I need a power steering pump. Rotate this engine around here. I'm gonna need a performance head. A fuel filter, I do have a three star one, good. All right, that's kind of where we're at. Let's check the store. I'll go over to the tune-up shop. Power steering pump. Engine head. And an engine head. And then we'll go improve these two, three items. So it's an engine head. Crank over to the E's. There's the engine head A, restart, and engine head B, and then a power steering pump. There's an I-4 power steering pump. All right, that is improved. Hop back over here. Crank on the performance heads. Okay, we don't have those. We'll get them. Three star head performance. Hey. I have camshaft A, and I already have one that's a three-star. Sweet. Where was I hanging onto that? And I have camshaft B three-star already. Huh. Don't have that, which is just the rocker arms. So those are not performance parts, and I'm going to need two of them. Camshaft cap. And I should be able to put the sparkulators in, yep, because I have a bunch of three starred sparkulators. There we go. Add another rocker. Yep, rocker arm A. Probably need two of those. Get some sparklators in on this side. Some bolts for the rocker arm. Injection coils probably need to get performance ones. And these are universal for a lot of these um, fuel injected cars. So uh, where do I want to buy? I'll just, do I want to buy that many? I do have a lot of. Modern car is yet to go. Yeah, we'll just buy 50. I think I'm out of these. Yep, I'm out of these bearings. Or camshaft caps. Bearings, caps, what have you. Uh, we'll just buy a dozen. Yeah, we'll buy 20. That way we have some in case we do a future Nissan build. All right. 
That's done. Timing cover. Water pump. Water pumps for all builds are not performance parts, so you don't have to worry about even searching. I just buy a half dozen cam gears. Same for this. Some timing chains. Timing chain B. I'll buy a half dozen of these. And I'm betting I'm going to need timing chain A. So let's go ahead and buy a half dozen of those timing chains too. And we're set. The shoes. I think it's just the two shoes, right? Yeah. I don't mind having a little extra parts hanging around. Uh, I think I clicked the wrong thing. Clicked the wrong thing. Or time and shoes. And then we'll need a timing cover, which I had a bunch of. That works out good. There's a lot of bolts that go into this timing cover. I mean, it's just a timing cover. I think it's like torquing down the block or something. So you had to get those timing covers on before you could put on the oil pan. Interesting. And most of these pulleys and crank crank pulleys and what have you, I should have an inventory. That'll go quick. Power steering pump, and hey, I have a three-star one already. All right. Oh, wait. That's because I just bought that <laughs> and and did it. Alternator, I forgot to three-star it. All right. And then this exhaust manifold, we're going to need to get a performance version of it. One, two. Exhaust manifold A. Get two of these. So we need the alternator and the exhaust manifold and our injection coils and an intake. We should be able to get as a performance part. Okay. All right. Let's go three star those items. So if I'm thinking of sort by arrival intake manifold exhaust manifolds and ignition coils and the alternator yeah that was the other one alternator should be right there then we need e i e and i Find the exhaust manifold. There we go. Exhaust manifolds and then the intake. And we're going to need one, two, three, four, five, six. 
Communication coils. There's... Is that the right intake manifold? I think it is. Okay. Let's get all this plopped back in. Part mount. Alternator. Three stars. Ignition coil. Find the one with the three stars. It doesn't put that in order or give it to you as your first option, so you have to look around for them if you don't have them all three starred. All right, those are on. Intake manifold B. Man, I just three starred the wrong thing. Dang it. Cost is on. Let's get these belts on. Hey, I have a belt. All right. Sparker, my man. All right, let's go three star the right intake. What's the name of the intake again? Intake manifold B, V6, VQ37, EHR. That's the correct intake manifold this time. Let's throw that one on. There's going to be throttle bodies on this car, too, that we're probably going to have to buy as performance. Fuel rails, oh, I'm pretty sure, will be performance parts. Oh, that was weird. Not sure what happened there. All right. Fuel rails. This is where that search function or a sorting function or something would be. It would be helpful. And I have a button set on the side of my mouse to just hold down click so I can fly through menus like that, but still would be faster with the search. Part mount. Restar fuel rail. Restar fuel rail. And this, I don't know if this would be a performance part or not, because I think this is, it is, okay. Well, let's get that performance part. Another intake. Oh, 
All right, and take manifold A is three starter. Then there'll be throttle bodies on either side of this, I believe. Yep. Get these throttles done. I think that'll be it for this engine. I'm pretty sure. Don't quote me on that. But we'll see. It's going to be way at the back of my list. I went right past it. I saw it. All right. That is the wrong throttle. This one. There's the throttles. We'll save that. think this engine is complete and it looks good looks good all right let's go ahead and take the engine off the stand and take it back to the car and we'll mount it up put that back uh, let's go ahead and dump the oil in while we're thinking about it. All right. She's full. And we'll start mounting up the rest of this opponents. Again, I have a lot of these in inventory, so this part goes pretty snappy. Pop in all our fuses. The air filter will be a performance part, just a plain air filter. I think that will be L oh, and the EC, um, ECU, which is also a performance part that you get at, where do you get the ECU? ECU type A, stage three. All right, ECU and the air filter need to be three starred. Air filter. And the electronic control unit, the repeater.
don't forget the clips on the air, air cleaner box. I mean, four little clips, and you'll be pulling your hair out, figuring out why is my car not 100%. <coughs> our coolant in. Our steering fluid, which interestingly, the game does not restrict your ability to put these fluids in. Like, um, I'll put the brake fluid in. We have not installed the brakes. I assume there's brake lines, but Hey, I'm just doing that now because I can. So we got coolant in, windshield washer fluid, oil, power steering fluid, and the uh, brake fluid. So we are done in the engine compartment. So we can close up the hood. And we can start working the suspension system. Oh, and the fuel system, which will be the last fuel and exhaust will be the last things that we'll have to three star and the trans, of course. Fuel pump, three star already. So let's grab the exhaust while we're thinking about it. So there'll be the rear muffler, middle muffler, looks like a catalytic converter, and then a connecting piece there. So two rear mufflers, two middle mufflers, two cat converters. All right, is there a, is the one on the other side a different one? Just to be safe, I'm gonna buy two. Okay, they both are Bs. And trans, let's get the performance transmission. Got to go out to the gearbox shop for that. And we'll go three-star these components. This will be it for the performance parts. Brakes, already have performance brakes. I have a pile of them, so we'll be covered there. Gearbox, front, cat. So C, F, G, M, R. Start with the catalytic converter. Catalytic converter, uh, front, gearbox, middle, rear. Front, gearbox, middle, rear. This is where that search engine would be really helpful. Front exhaust pipe. Is that it? Front exhaust pipe B. I think it's this. Why do I have three of them? Did I buy three? All right. Front, middle, oh, gearbox. I forgot the gearbox. Let's get the middle mufflers. Oops, went right past it. And then the rear exhaust. And there is two of these. Quick save so I don't lose all those upgrades. Heart mount. Let's put the exhaust system in. Should be all three start.
gear box. There we go. That starter in. Great. All right, let's head back. We'll do the rear uh, suspension system first. drive shaft in. Okay. Sway bar. Head over and get the knuckle. End link. Pull that sway bar in. Rear suspension arms. And we'll get a Spring cap, the spring, and the cap. An upper suspension arm. Wheel hub. Three suspension arms on. And a rear shock. All right. Now are my performance brakes three starred? They are not. So I'm going to need four disc brakes three start up. But let's get this other side of exhaust or suspension done first. Then we'll go three star those brakes. do one side it's just a mirror image on the other so you just remember where the parts are and you can kind of fly through this actually first couple of times you might be where does this part go what does this what does this do it takes you a few seconds but you figure it out pretty, pretty quick That is the rear suspension system. Let's go grab three brake brake disc and make those or four brake discs, excuse me. One, two, three, four. Brake, ah, wrong rotor. Now they do not have performance brake pads, just the discs. Same for the calipers, there are no performance parts yet. All right, so that is done. That side. Find the four star disc and a pad. Caliper. All right, rears are done. Let's go do the front suspension system. We'll start with the cross member. Get all the rubber bushings on the cross member, just because those are easy ones to forget. Get our steering rack in. Our sway bar. Well, did I click the sway bar? I don't think I did. And we'll start getting the tie rods and a knuckle in. Front wheel hub. 
bearing. Shock absorber A. There should be a link. Yep, front end link. Lower suspension arm. And the bushings that go with it. Okay, we can put on the three star vented disc brake. Pad, caliper. off power on I'm sure when my head says powering off it's fine probably a setting all right let's head over here to the knuckle high rods the lower suspension arm Bearing. Should have one more three star vented brake. Yep, I do. Cap. Pad. Caliper. Okay, brake's done. Shock. And we'll get that in link to the sway bar. All right. Suspension systems are done. Now we got to work on tires and rims, which these are the rims that came with. Rim Modern. I was going to black out the rims, go with black rims. So let's paint them. But you can paint a lot of parts, but because I have so many pages, pages and pages of parts it's just kind of a pain and there's not a again a search function for this so i have to just remember rim modern 2 is the ones i want to paint paint so i got to scroll all the way over to the r's which is why i don't do this very often just because i hate scrolling through this many pages just to get to what i want so rim let's see ah it's past it Rim Modern 02. All right, what are we going to paint these? Let's black them out. Kind of gloss. You want a solid black? Metallic. Metallic black rims. I like it. Paint the rim. Okay. Now I'll go back into here, and I gotta scroll back all the way over to the rims again. There's one we painted. Do the same. And I'll just use previously used, which should be hanging onto that and paint. Two rims. And scroll all the way over to the rims again. We got two painted, three and four coming up. Recently used paint. All right. And paint. One more rim. I guess this didn't take terribly long, but it is just it's just another step, right? Oh, I passed it. Rim Modern 2. Recently used and paint. Paint. There we go. Rims are done. All right, so we painted our rims black. Then let's see what tire size this came with. Let's go up here to car status. So it started with 245, 45, 18s in the back. This wide fender here, I think we can go a little wider. I like, 
I like putting the wider tires in the back, obviously. And it already had wide in the back, wide in the front. We're going to go with a little bit wider stance. So if we do 245 is the standard, why don't we go to a 3? I mean, we go real wide. 245. Let's do a 3. 305.35, 305.35, or even a 30, like lower profile in the back. And we'll do 305.35, 18s in the rear. Um, we'll keep the 225.45, 18s in the front, I think. I think. All right, let's buy some tires. We're going to go with the whole shots. So we'll go two 18 inch. All right, I'm going wide. 305. Yeah, let's do the 30s. I changed my mind. Let's go for the low low profile, 30s in the rear. So we'll get two of those. Then we're going to get two 225s, 18s. 25, 45s. Buy those. And we're going to mount these up on our black rims. That does look good. I like that. I like that look. Install. And while that one is installing, we'll go balance this for wheel. Install the next one. Balance the wheel. Install the last tire. Balance the second to the last. Balance. 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 And balance the last one. Wheels are balanced. Let's go mount these. Make sure we put the big ones in the back. So the 305s in the back. Let's see how obnoxiously wide that looks. Actually, with the lower profile, and it just hits the edge of that fender. So, yeah, I don't hate it. I don't hate it. Okay. Make sure I put the wide in the back. All right, I'll pop around to the front and get the front tires on. rims look solid those they look solid all right let's move the car to our test path put the notepad away here and do a wheel alignment the front. We'll line up the lights too. Save that. And then, oh, I forgot to tint these windows. Let's go tint the windows first. And you can color with t color the tint. Most of the time I just do the black tint. Uh, let's see. Windshield will do like a light tint. Ah, uh, should have done all to begin with. Mm. 
now I have to go back and just do the windshield at a lesser dent. All right. So like 85% tint on the sides, the back, and then the windshield like at 17. Move that to the paint shop now. Now let's paint. Current factory color is this gold, which I honestly, I don't hate. Let's see what libraries we got. Library one. Okay. I like it. That gold makes it look cool. It's library two. Red does not. I don't like the red. Don't like the red. Don't like it. All right, we're going with that library, honestly. Do I want gloss, solid, metallic? Pearl, matte, chrome. It's kind of cool. Chameleon, I don't like. Matte chameleon. I think we're going metallic. And then I have to decide. Ooh. Oh, the silver and black. Okay. Like a darker silver on that black. Well, that looks hot. I like that. Yep. I think that's what we're going with. That looks good with the black rims. Painting the car, painting the car. Hold your breath, put on your mask. Car is painted. All right, let's take this to the dyno and run it through the mill here and see how we do. Started 314, 285. See how our performance increases did. Moment of truth. It's got a high power curve. So it's definitely going to be higher RPMs where you're getting your power. All right, so we have a over 100% increase in power. That is not bad. Let's grab the spreadsheet. And it's going to be another low A um, drag car. So here's our Nissan. HPs. 634 horsepower and 550 pound-feet of torque. Like it. Save that. Oh, shoot. We could get more power out of it because we forgot to tune the computer. Let's tune the computer first. And this is another mini game. And the goal is to get all these to plus six, obviously. So generally what I try to do Line up the first two. Oh, well, maybe. Okay, two are done. So then what you do is you subtract one, subtract one, subtract one, subtract one, add one. And 
the goal is obviously to get all of these to plus six. Oh, come on, ECU. Okay, the first three are lined up. The next one lined up, right? There we go. All aligned. Hit apply, which is underneath my head, so you save that. There's no carb. And let's, since we just did that tuning, I have to rerun the dino test because we're going to have 16% more power from just tuning the computer. Bam. 704 and 608. So, I mean, that was 704, 608. Huge boost just from doing that. Still a low A car, but man, that's, that's a good power boost. I'll save the game here. So, looking at our ratio, see, I don't hate this, 158 in, in uh, fifth gear. Let's not even mess with the ratio. Let's just drive it at the stock and see how she drives. And then we'll come back and we'll monkey with uh, gear ratios. Start the car up. Sounds good. I like this car inside. Drive the car to the drag strip and we'll do a test run on the drag strip and see how she handles and how the uh, default shifting goes. And we'll just do a practice. Quarter mile, start. Start in the car. Breaking it and hitting the gas. All right. One to two, there was too big a drop off. It does. You really see that power difference at that high RPM is where it really started to pull. So, here, 10 8 at 135. Betting we're going to be in the 140s. Try to shoot 140s ish. 140 ish in fifth gear. And we got to get one to two better. It didn't really pull off the line hard. So I think we're going to for a lower ratio. And the rear end. So let's, let's see where we're at. Let's take the ratio a little bit lower. 375. Okay, but I told my brother we're going to go three and second gear was way too far off from first. I got to a two seven. 
one nine. And we'll go for two. Trying to keep that RPMs high. One five and fifth, one forty nine. I think it's gonna be a little bit higher than that. Go for like a 105 gear. So I'm thinking it's going to be in the low 40s. I could be wrong. Go ahead and add seven gears for our top speed when we top speed this sucker. Probably going to top out in the low twos. I think. So we'll go with like a 240 top end. We'll see how this rolls. Save the game. Pop in the car. Start her up. Go for a drive, trip. I think we will run this as a um, quarter mile test. Break. Yeah. It's almost like a motorcycle with its bandwidth there. Five, four to five, and seven, 136. Gonna drop five back just a smidgen. A smidgen. Clearly, the pen this engine is much higher than some of our other engines, so we're rolling at the five PM range, seems to be where the power is in this sucker. Try to keep it right in that high RPM range. This is five, just slightly up. Yep. I think this would be a successful run chance. Take this car. Go for a drive. The drag strip. And we're going to pop into the King of the Sands and we're going to see how we do. King of the Sands, quarter mile. Lower car. Betting wise, we're just going to bet whichever car has a higher rating. We did that yesterday when we were just below 500. But honestly, there's been times where I've bet which car I thought was a car, and in 500, those that were ranked higher, I don't know. It just seems to be willy-nilly on me. I haven't been able to properly predict it yet. But those first few rounds, that's correct. Are we going up against a Corvette? Yeah. Okay. Corvette, all right. Break. Yeah. Fourth to fifth, those are terrible shifts. Did not affect, we still were able to take down the quarterback. So our first run, official run, was a 10, 7, 4, 5, 153. Quarter mile, I think we can do better, might be good that time. 7, 5, 4. 135. Okay. Save that. Next, next. Hmm. Our bets. We'll do the same pattern. Just bet the higher ranked car. Holds us up. Loss, loss. Oh, backwards. It's fine. Okay, we're up against, uh, up against. Oh, nice. Okay. Break. Yes. It's right around 7,500 you want to be shifting. And we're 
right at max RPM as we go through. So we have this tuned properly, I think. 10.6 at 136. And we beat the 442. Nice. 10.6. 10.603 at 136. That was a good run. And we beat the Oldsmobile. Generally don't vote against the Hellcats. All right. Can we take down a Porsche? I think it was a Porsche, right? Yeah. Brake? Yes. Get him? We got him. That was a closer match, though. 10 6 at 136. I think a little bit lower, probably because Marity was a little bit slower. All right, so we're into the championship round. How do we do on bets? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 wins. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 losses. Right around 500. That's always what it seems to be. And that's. Betting the highest ranked car, picking the car that I think will win, picking the lanes, it always ends up being right around 500. All right, what are we up against, guys? We are up against another Porsche. We already took down a Porsche, we got this. Brake, gas. Gonna be close. I can hear him in my ear. 10 8 to a 10 5 7 3. So we did better. Our last run was our best run. 10 5 7 3 at 136. Nice. All right. Success. Oh, and the most important thing. I forgot to put that on the spreadsheet. Uh, King of the Sands win. Well, heck to the yes. All right. Save that. Return to the garage. And then we got to just figure out the cost of this car. Record that. Take a quick screenshot. And we got another car in the books. All right, how much is this car worth? 110,429. 110,429. Oops. And the car is done, so I can flip it back over to black. There we go. Save, move the spreadsheet away. 110,429. Okay. Save. Save. All right, let's take the car for a drive to the screenshot place. Yes, I know. Yes, I know. Ah, get in the car. Drive. And we're going to photo locations. Photo location four. Taking most of my screenshots kind of in that same pattern so you get a same kind of look at the cars for comparison purposes. All right, photo mode. We'll go with frame two, frame one, logo, bottom right. Rotate the car just a bit. Turn on the wheels just a bit. Hide the settings, focus the picture, try to center the car ish. Bam. Screenshot.
Where's the screenshot I just took? Screenshots. There we go. That was the last one, which was inventory car 82. So we're on inventory car 83. 2003 Nissan 350Z, I believe. Nissan 350Z 2003. Yep. Upload. There we go. Turn to the garage. And this car is done. Then we'll have to figure out what we're doing next. I'll move this to the parking garage. And I think this is where we'll sign off on this car for the night. That was success. Car turned out good. It looked good. Um, with this car, this kicks us up to how much money? Let's check on the spreadsheet. $11,546,000 even. The Nissan is now... Oh, Number 36 in far, as far as value goes. So not the most expensive, but not the cheapest. So we just, that was a fairly new car. So I think the next car we're going to do is an older car. Uh, and I'm really, I think we're doing the 70 Plymouth Roadrunner. Let's do that. That'll be our next car. Sort. Highest to lowest. There we go. We're doing a 70 Plymouth Roadrunner next. Let's find that real quick just so you can get a preview. If we go to parking, 70 Plymouth Roadrunner, there it is. Swap that to there. Swap. Ugh. Swap that. Swap cars. Okay. And this, I wanted to swap to the back. I know this is crazy, but this is just how I keep them separated in my head. Then move that to the garage. All right. So this was a cheap auction find. Got a bench seat. Looks like we got a automatic to start with. Uh, what engine are we rolling with in here? It came with the Hemi six pack, which we just did. So honestly, I liked that engine. So I think we do this engine again and do the, the 446 pack. Um, the only other option would be the 440 Magnum. Which one is better? Let's let's compare that real quick. 440 Magnum versus the 446 pack. Great new engine. Hemi. Magnum has 375 and 790 or, or 479 pound feet of torque. 375, 390, 501. Okay, well, the six pack is clearly better. All right, that's what we're putting in that. And that's what it's starting with. So that's, that's where we start. So the Roadrunner is next. Uh, this was fun. I had a good time with the Nissan. I will see you. Uh, with the next car uh, or a new game. Depends on my mood. You guys take her easy.